Hi there. Okay, so here's another more challenging question on finding the derivative uh, for from first principles for the following function. This time we can see our function is actually a hyperbola. Okay, so the hyperbola looks like that. Okay, this one would look like this more or less. Okay, like this. Okay, one over there. And another one here. Okay, so we want a formula for the gradient of uh, this thing. That's what, what we call the derivative, or what the derivative is, a formula for the gradient. We must do it from first principles, which means we have to do this. We have to find the derivative of fx using this formula, the limit when h tends to 0 of fx plus h minus f of x over h that's our first step the second step is a simple substitution step so in other words the limit when h tends to 0 if x plus h means that I must substitute everywhere in the formula f where I see an x I must replace it with an x plus h so it is negative 2 over x plus h plus 4 plus 4 this is the expression for fx plus h minus f of x f of x is just that thing so minus negative 2 over x plus 4 okay divided by h okay now you can see we can still not substitute h with 0 because h is in the denominator so first thing we're going to have to do is simplify the first step in this simplifying is adding these two fractions. Now you will notice that we have a plus 4 here and a positive 4 there but the negative makes it a negative 4 so those two constant values will cancel out so that I only have two fractions I want to add negative 2 over x plus h minus negative 2 so that would be plus 2 over x. To add these two we see we need uh, lowest common denominator both factors have to be in that denominator and that means for the numerator and the denominator I need an x as a factor as well as an x plus h okay for this one I have to multiply top and bottom with an x and for that one I have to multiply top and bottom with an x plus h x plus h so I have negative 2x plus 2 x plus h everything divided with an h so let's simplify that a little bit further we now get okay uh, sorry my limit h is still tending to 0 so the limit of h tending to 0 and now the negative 2x look at that negative 2x plus this 2 is going to multiply in plus 2x is going to cancel out so I'll only be left with the 2 multiplies the h, okay, so that means plus 2h is all I have in my numerator for the fraction in the numerator, divided by x times x plus h, and this is divided with h. Now when I divide with a fraction, I can tip in times, or when I have a fraction divided by a fraction, so this is h over 1. Okay, so I can tip in times to make it times 1 over h. I just find this way uh, students can e uh, see more easily how, they can how the h's cancel. So that h and that h cancels to leave me with the limit when h tends to 0 of 2 over x and x plus h. Okay, now, am I allowed to substitute h with 0? Won't I have 0 in the denominator? No, I won't. Look, if h is equal to 0, I'll just have x plus 0. So that will still just be x inside this bracket multiplied by x. So actually my denominator would be x squared. Okay, and as long as x is not 0, that's fine. Okay, so now I get that I may substitute in a 0, so I do do that. And then I get x here and an x plus 0, so an x inside the bracket, so I get x squared. In other words, the derivative 
of fx if fx is equal to negative 2 over x plus 4 then this would be the derivative of that function in other words this would be the formula for this uh, or for this function's uh, gradient okay uh, that's me for now and I think that's it for uh, derivatives from first principles next up we'll be looking at how to actually find this derivative derivative much easier see you then